Hello, good afternoon, everybody, and kimchi. Hey, wait a second. <clears throat> Kim Bunny here, and today I am playing Lappin. Hi, everybody. So Lappin is a game that's currently in early access, and the game features Banui, 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 and Banui. Let's jump on into it. Now this game is only about half finished right now as far as I know, so I don't know how far into the game I'll be allowed to get, but I'm gonna play as far as it will let me, because it's I hear it's really good. Banui, 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 Banui. It's a Banui. I'm a Banui. Aw. I love the poster in the background. Oh, am I somebody's pet? Aww! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's adorable! I hate it! Oh my gosh, this game is so cute! Now I can't jump on the bed! How rude. I can jump on the table. Can I push this off the table? No. I can jump on the shelf. Jose is my owner. This is Lappin. Like I said, today's feature is Banui. The blueprint of my room. Huh. What else can I look at? Nothing over here. Let me look out the window! Okay, I think I've explored everything in here that I'm allowed to explore. Wait, what the heck? This rabbit's got its own freaking furnished room? What is this bullshit? Out of service as of today. Reason, safety issues caused by human construction. Huh. Oh, I see. Okay. What? Let me out. Hello, fellow Benui. What are you doing here? Captain told you to go up. I'll go up soon. What are you doing yourself? Welding. I can see that. I'm trying to melt down and disconnect the line that used to supply electricity here. What would disconnecting it do? That would save energy. Every time you go up, I will turn off the bottom lights one by one. Not <laughs> yawn. Not two, not three, but one. One at a time after exactly one second. A magnificent system. Ah, oh, she's nodding off. This is so cute. Here we go again with the boring stuff. Go already. Did you finish packing? Yes. I fell asleep late last night because I didn't know what to pack. I lived here for a year and made so many memor... Eh? You lived here much longer. Don't you have any regrets? Can't hear you. Welding. I can make a new burrow. So, what are you bringing with you? What do you want to know? I'm just curious. A box. What? Whatever. Go up. Captain should be waiting for you above. Aw, oh, come on! I can finish my work if you just leave me be. Okay. Rude, Benui. Hello. Say hello to Kyo back for me. Cutie. Let me out. Let me invade a space. There we go. Hot blocks, specialty textbooks translated from the human language by Jose. Okay, so Jose is one of the bunnies, I assume. Read the title and don't understand a word. Bunny Versity Physics with Moon Rabbit, 14th edition. 
Impressed with Mont Blanc reading something this uninteresting. Those are human shirts. I've never seen Mont Blanc wearing one of these outfits. They are for decoration for sure. Alright. Anything else I can eavesdrop and... Nope. Okay. What? Mont Blanc? Oh, I can't talk to you anymore. I can't even say goodbye. Yay, bunny slide. Who was this? Is that your bed? It's messy. Ancient plant tales sits on the bed, tattered from the number of times it's been read. Most of the pages have ripped and been lost. Long ago when us rabbits still treasured the moonlight. But any things to do tonight? Alright, enjoy yourself. I'll catch you later, Nan. Started to call this plant that stays a bud its entire life until it grants a wish. There's nothing else I can read. Whoa, leave! You still haven't got up yet. You were drying? Yeah, the thought of leaving this place forever made me sad. That's why I was drawing my dust bunny. Dust bunny? Yeah, it's my very cute friend. The one you're stepping on right now. Yay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so she stomps. It's okay. Sometimes I almost step on it too. Are you leaving your dust bunny behind? Of course not. It's coming with me. We're going to explore the world together. Did you finish packing, Jose? Yeah, I was going to pack my whole room. Not even a sack made by Mont Blanc could fit all that. Yeah, I tried and it didn't work. So, I'm trying my to fit my desk in next. You're a rabbit that doesn't know when to give up. I'm sad that I'm leaving behind this place. We played so much here. I was happy, especially after you arrived here, Leap. Whatever, I'm alright. We'll find our paradise for sure. We have the map George drew. Well, that'd be Jorge. We'll find a new paradise and have lots of fun together. I should get packing. I'll see you up there. Okay, Jose. Messy desk. Jose, a self-proclaimed minimalist. There's one year... There's one year old hardened watercolor paint on it. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's not coming off. Hi. That's like Kate. Uh, Bunny has lots of swords. This is definitely either Kate or Kanan. Take your pick. And very many stabby knives. I attended Bianca's classes here with Mont Blanc. You have no idea how worried I was about this knife cutting me. Hi. I'm still eavesdropping. One moment, please. That's kind of which Bianca used to write novels. Ooh. Our fellow writer, I see. She never really told me the story of the, her novels. Ah, uh, I see some English. That's fine, though. It's still in production. Yanka! Leap, you're leaving surprisingly early today? Yeah, I'm no longer a latecomer. You're all ready to go? Of course, just going over my checklist as my final preparation. Did you pack the map? No need to worry, it's placed securely between my notes. I'm so glad we have this map. The Juan Jorge's expedition drew. How did you get your hands on the map? That's... Let's go, Leap. You leave first. Oh, I like the cute little hearts. I'm forming relationships. Yanka, why are you changing the topic? I feel like you aren't telling me something. 
Normally one wouldn't ask further when the topic is changed. I see. Now is not the best time to talk about it. I'm not sure where to start. Are you madly in love with me and don't want to tell me? Hmm. We have a lot of time anyway. Come see me if you're curious. I remember attending your class this year. Not memories of skipping classes? Th that's And I heard about the stories of Jorge's expedition here from you. You're changing topics? Expedition leader Jorge, he really he's really cool. Yes, of course, that's something I know for a fact. Anyway, hearts. You go up first. Alright, Bianca. <laughs> oh, this is all so adorable. I don't know how good rabbits are at climbing, but this one certainly is. Holy shit. It's light. We all took a picture here. It's hard to believe that it was already a month ago. Jose always loved taking photos. Oh, it's a backdrop. Holy crap. That's awesome. No, come back up. I won't look at these. These are cool. Can I only look at the three? One, two, oh, only two. Painting with waves on it. There's something behind the painting. I got a bunny key. Okay, inspect everything. The key held hidden by Captain. What does it unlock? Probably none of my business. But M. Benui, so we'll snoop. A modern art piece that displays a complicated mind. I am the king of this fortress. Do not nibble on clothes hangers. Especially you, Jose. Don't chew up computer cables in my room. Mont Blanc. Ah. Whee! Okay, so I cannot interact with any of this. This is fine. And last Benui. Captain! Look who it is! Leave! Thanks for showing up early today. I packed everything last night. What were you up to? I was just thinking about how we all used to eat here together. When everyone enjoyed my new dishes, you can't imagine how happy that made me. All ready to leave Alpha. I had a good time here, Captain. I won't forget the giant carrot cakes you baked for us. I tried to eat marshmallows without getting caught by you and dropped it in the oven. And the moments when you threw a fit when I tried to sneak out of the burrow. Happy memories, yes? Come with me, everyone else is waiting for you. If I stick around any longer, I may not be able to leave because I keep feeling sad. Yes, Captain. I got a carrot cake recipe. First, imagine Bianca's delighted face when she receives the cake. Mix the batter. Grate dried carrots finely and mix with the batter. Bake the batter. Tip if the oven breaks down, call Mont Blanc. Crush the blueberries and mix with water into a thick blend. Coat the baked cake with all the blueberry compote. Decorate the top of the cake with more blueberries. It's done! Shit, that sounds amazing. Blueberry covered carrot cake. It's awesome. Oh, okay, it's just clipped in there. Can I get up here? Please? Okay, fine. Basket used to be filled with dried carrots, Mont Blanc's favorites. It's nothing more than rotten hay now. Aw. Is this leaving? This feels like leaving. Oh, it's another room. I will get up in all of your things. You can't stop me. Ooh, fancy china. The bulk collection of Captain who loves cooking. I hope someday we'll come back here to retrieve them. 
And we've got this, like, hyper-advanced society of rabbits living here, so... People are gonna be very confused when they find this. Is that crutches? That's crutches. I just don't need crutches. Ooh, that's the oven. And a cozy fire. Captain's oven. It's where we rabbits get our meals from. Captain's purple carrot cakes were good. Hey, there are such things as purple carrots, believe it or not. Don't know how they taste, but they exist. Moving, it's so smooth. Ooh, a secret code. Today's menu for loving and caring rabbits. Sound mind dwells in a sound body. Don't pick at your food. Blueberry muffins, sun dried bellflower seeds, and apples snack. Captain. Okay. Alpha in rabbit language. Alpha is the name of our burrow. Oh no, am I gonna have to learn a lot of rabbit language? It's said to be derived from the tasty alfalfa we eat. That makes sense. A poster Jose put up a year ago. Over the time, it's turned yellow. Tonight, there will be an exhibition of Jose's painting at the warehouse. Come and appreciate the fine arts. Okay, what does this one say? A flyer Bianca brought made by humans. Jose translated it about a month ago. 20xx.3.14 Start of the construction of the Natural History Museum in Siori Park. March 14th. Isn't that St. Patrick's Day? Oh, you're leaving. Okay, well I don't want to go that way. I haven't explored everything yet. Balls. Got it. Huh? Okay, it's the door. I was like, did I just get locked in? That's kind of a bunny. The Prince Jose self-portrait. Painting by Jose. His last painting before leaving Alpha. I remember when Bianca and Captain hung the painting here. Who that? Yeah, I know who that is. Bon Blanc has seen through the eyes of Jose. Bon Blanc wanted to get rid of this painting. He looks as if he's building a doomsday device that will destroy the world. He does. I love this artwork. A rabbit night that Jose claims to have seen when he was exploring the outside world a long time ago. He suddenly appeared when Jose clapped through the thirst, gave him some water, and just left just as suddenly. Interesting. Rabbit Jesus. That's <laughs> so cute. Portrait of an imaginary rabbit, the only one drawn by Jose without a model. He said that if he had a younger sister, this is what she would have looked like. Ah. It's got a lock on it. I have a key! Haha! -ha. You can't stop me, for I am Banui. Ooh, hello phone. Phone. Red telephone created by Mont Blanc. It's been broken for ages. I can fix it, but I'm just not fixing it because it takes too long. It's not that I can't fix it, said Mont Blanc, while neglecting it completely. That sounds like classic procrastination, which I am excellent at. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I already hate this. Do I really wanna... I guess I have to. So I check out everything. The phrase is inscribed on the tombstone. In memory of Marin with all my love. Hmm. I like that. Wait, I can only read the one? Oh, that's weird. I thought I could read the other ones. Huh. Okay. Well, that's cool. Can I open you? No. Because there's a bunny in the way. Well, <laughs> a bunny tombstone, I should say. I hope there's not a bunny in there. Okay, I guess I can't unlock that right now. Alright, I already looked at all of you, so I guess it's time to leave. Whee! Oh, 
the screen transitions are so flawless. I love it. Oh, neat. Zoom. I kind of already did that, but that's good to know. Ack. The movement feels really good. Oops. Yes, it's carrot cake recipe. I don't know if I was supposed to do something with that or not. Anyways! Oh, there's, there's construction happening upstairs. I don't like that. Fucking humans. How about my Blanc? He's turning off all the lights and running late. Oh no. Are we gonna lose him right off the bat? All the lights are out. Never seen it get this dark. There he is. Good work, Mont Blanc. Now we're really leaving Alpha. Why isn't the elevator moving today, Mont Blanc? It's on the notice. If you would just read that. We need to save energy. Ah, that's loud. Sorry. I'm talking about the construction noises, not you. It already began. Jose, is there any way Alpha couldn't have collapsed? The big rabbits, uh, I mean, had humans started building here? Oh, they call humans big rabbits. That's cute. Even if the burrows are intact, we wouldn't be able to live here due to construction noises. Time to go. I don't want to see our burrow collapsing in front of our eyes. It's a fine spring day with blossoming flowers. And we left our beloved home. Oh, yeah, that's now blocked off. Thanks, construction. Can I do anything here? No, apparently not. Lots of noise, though. Chapter 1, Great Park. It's down here. Death? No, not death. Holy moly! Ooh, that scared me. What are you doing, dummy? Mont Blanc? You saw me falling? I didn't fall, that was perfectly graceful. By the way, I am not dumb. You wanted to jump over to see Alpha one more time? Yep. The excavator plowed through. You won't be able to access the burrow. Only if I could jump over this pit, I could return to Alpha. Well, I recommend not to unless you want to be buried underground. Come on. Go on up. Fine. Spoil sport. I'm gonna go back anyway because fuck you. Oh, okay. It is completely blocked off. Huh, you're still around. So, have you tried harder? Are you planning to go back to Alpha? No, I know. That would be foolish. Good to know that you know that. Where do the others go? They keep going to the right. Hmm, did you also want to visit Alpha again? No. Ah, I saw his ears flick. He's lying. Even if that were the case, I can still look forward and not fall while I'm running. Ah! What are you doing? I was looking for a card underneath this place. What is a cart? Why are you interested in the cart? I gave an hour-long brief yesterday. You missed it. First time I'm hearing about it. 
Our ancestors constructed underground tracks to travel the park. Legend has it that the entrance to that system is somewhere in the park. If we find that, we do not have to venture above ground. You just take a cart to your destination. Oh. Anything else you want to know? Yes, there are some more questions. Good, then I will go find the cart now. Wow, what a dipshit. <laughs> you old bastard. But I said I wasn't finished! Yeah, that is pretty rude. Oh my gosh. Well then. It's a huge rabbit sculpture. I hate carrots, but he must really love carrots. Wait, you said that you loved his carrot cake, though. I'm confused. This bunny's hiding something. Found it. Oh, block? Why did you come here? Go upwards if you're lost. What are you doing here? I found a cart. I'm looking at how it works. You finally found the cart! Hmm, but the cart doesn't move. That's unfortunate. If I think about it a little more, I'll know how to operate it. Pray and go up. Our friends are going to be to the right there. Let's not... Let's go together. Why not? Th that's... Are you scared of the outside? Oh, not yet. What? You're really scared? No, I am definitely not nervous. Taking a breather came to mind and I am executing the idea. What's up with that weird speech? Frankly, I can't get used to the outer side. I think I spent too much time in Alpha. I'm trying, but I just cannot relax. My nerves are not cooperating. Ah, uh, bunny anxiety. Stop stalling and get moving. Yeah, my controller died. What a good time for my controller to die. Next, batteries. There we go. I was wondering why the text wasn't advancing. Ew, why? We're wasting time here. We discussed this four times and are not getting anywhere. We should move fast to catch up with Captain and Bianca. I will examine the card a little longer and then catch up with you all. Suit yourself. I had to reset my self's position because I don't want to be facing that direction. There we go. I'm going to get on the card anyway. Oh damn, it's too dark. I cannot access the card. Fine, I'll play your game. Oh wait, hey. What does this sign say? It's got bunny tracks on it. Special cards that can travel through the dark night. The pinnacle of rabbit technologies. Well, it looks like our... Well, it looks like a plain hay feeder to me. Heh. <laughs> Alright, up we go. It's a small shabby stone tower. Somehow it gives off creepy vibes. Probably the scarf. Gib. Gib pear. Oh, it's a flower. It's not a pear, it's a seed. Is everyone all packed? Let's do our best to find the place we're yearning for on this last adventure. You got it, Jorge. I must be eavesdropping on them. Leave, you're keeping up better than I thought you would. You aren't scared? It's your first time going out after that day. That was a long time ago, Captain. I'm fine. Actually, I'm a little excited. I secretly believe that Mont Block is a bit scared. But I was very frustrated the whole time being stuck running around in Alpha. That's how you destroyed my room, running around with Jose. That... That is... Anyway, Lieb, drink this if you're nervous. Uh... Oh, it's just like the drink Captain gave me back in the day. 
think I'm getting better. Uh, of course, I wasn't nervous at all. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Lieb. Anyway, anything else you want to know? Yeah, what about the bunny statue? I feel like we could even run into Jorge's expedition, who I admire while we go on adventures like this, Captain. I agree. I've heard you've asked Bianca to tell you stories of Jorge's expedition every night. Yeah, because Jorge is such a legendary expeditioner. Jorge's expedition left on their last expedition when I lived back at the cage. So it's been at least a few years? Yeah, this last expedition seems to be taking quite a while. Captain, I saw a stone tower back there. Did humans make the stone tower as well? That's not a stone tower, but a grave. It's a grave? And we rabbits made it. It's a grave for buried rabbits who were left to die in the park after being abandoned by... Oh shit. Nope, don't like it. How about this? This is less depressing. Captain, I planted a seed earlier and now a flower boomed. This is amazing. Why is this seed here? They're leftover seeds from Jorge's expedition. If you see a seed, you can be sure Jorge's expedition was there. Oh! Jorge's expedition sometimes chose to venture to places that were difficult for others to go. It won't be as easy to follow them. Let's head out to leave. If you have any questions, feel free to ask again. Hi, Captain. Yay! I like the cute little hearts. Save. Ooh, that looks like thorns. Those hurt me? Yes, they do. They don't just hurt me, they kill me dead. Okay, so this is Celeste now. I can't jump that high. Why can't I jump that high? This is bullshit. Burbs! The hell? I can't talk to Burb? Fine. Rude. Ooh. Fancy. The members of Jorge's expedition decided to leave a note to help future travelers. If you step on the flower to the right, you can jump higher. Hello, bunny. Yaka, there you are. Leap, have you seen that statue to the left? Yeah, a statue made by Jorge's expedition. It's so cool. It looks like an expedition neighbor, member named Ifa created this statue. That's right, Aoife was a famous explorer and sculptor from the cage. And you've always admired the expedition's captain, Jorge? All the expedition members were talented, not just Jorge. You'll help to examine records they've left behind. Bianca, do you think the map we have is really the one that Jorge drew up? Yeah, that's from the cage. Jorge drew it and left it behind before his final expedition. Oh. Don't worry about anything, Lee. Jorge is also making his way to the location drawn on the map. Jorge was also the one who found the cage I lived in. By the way, Bianca, how did you get the map? Did Bianca get it when she was princess of the cage? But I heard Mont Blanc brought it to Alpha. I'll tell you later, Lee. After some time. Do you think we could run into Jorge's expedition while continuing on our own? Yeah, we're exploring on the same path as them. As long as we follow the map, we'll probably just run into Jorge's expedition. I hope that happens. Bianca, did you meet Jorge? At the cage, I mean? Yeah, there was a big farewell party before Jorge went on his last expedition. Jorge politely paid his respects to Maha and myself before he left. Maha? Yes, my stepfather. Also the king who ruled the cage. Your biological parents are... They passed away early on at the cage. It would have been nice if they would have been alive and we could have all escaped to Alpha together. Oh, I made her... Holy shit. Okay, rab... Bunnies... 
Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Box automatically bounced me. Boing! Oh, many thorn. Oh, shit. It is Celeste. I basically have to start the entire segment over again if I fuck up. Don't fuck up. Bouncy bow! Jesus. Wait a second. Can. Oh, interesting. What's up here? Show me your secrets. A kite. Hmm. How do I get said kite? Ah, balls. Okay, did not like that. I'm glad this has a quick recover feature, though. Nope, I can't jump that far. Huh. I'm trying things. Nope, that falls me short. And that kills me. Keep slashing myself open on those stupid spines. And impaling myself. Oh, I didn't get to the power jump. There we go. There we are. I got it! Yay! That was a seat. What did the rabbit give his girlfriend? A 14 carat ring! Ha 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 ha! Wait, you're permanently banned from making jokes. That was. Whoa, that was close. Leave, you planted a seed. It couldn't have been easy, and you did it. Captain, maybe I'm just as good at adventures as Jorge's expedition. Overflowing with confidence, I see. There will be many more rough adventures ahead. Still... I know you can do it. I believe in you. How come Captain isn't planting any seeds? I'm occupied with making the path for you and Bianca comfortable. Getting rid of thorns, nine at stones so they can fall off. There's a lot of work to do. Oh, I see. Back in my days, I also planted a lot of seeds. I had great respect for Jorge. The opposite side from here. Now it's your turn, Leap. I can't take away your fun. Yay! Hmm. Nope, nope, that definitely kills the bunny. Oh, interesting. I drop down, I wonder. Can I drop down? Apparently not. Huh. Is if I oops. Hmm. Okay, I almost made that. Definitely a point where I cannot get any higher. There we go. Got another seed. A good rabbit explorer should be able to jump over an obstacle like this with no problem. Shush, Jorge. Spotty hasn't crossed yet. Hey, I'm right here talking about me like that in the third person. Honey. Blue stone falls when pressure is applied. Be careful if you don't want to be flattened like a pancake. 
Oh. Okay. Interesting. Oops. Oh, okay. We're getting difficult now. Puzzle. Hmm. Ah, I'm smarter than you. There better be something good up here. Oh, shit. Okay, now we really are playing Celeste. What is this nonsense? Fuck. Not sure if worth it. Check out that PO box. No, go back down, Benui. Nothing. All right. Disappointed. Oh, gotta jump over on the right side first. I should have known better. There's a sign for a flower. I definitely don't see a flower. Oops. There's flower. Holy shit. Okay, that's not close enough. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Is this what I have to do? I really am playing Celeste. thing over again. Damn it. Shit. I will get this flower. I'm, I'm basically doing the strawberries from Celeste right now. That's, that's what's going on right now. There we go. Wait a second. How do I... Ooh. Aw, so I can't jump high enough to get over that. Nope. Oh, I have to jump off that rock. Okay, I see it now. Yes, you get to hear me swear in Banui. What of it? Wait, how do I get the plant off the rock, though? I just grab on the side and write it down. Okay. No! Oh, shit. got stabbed.
There we go. Seed! I've never been to the deepest parts of the cage. Only select few can access those places. Okay, how do I get back down? Like this, I guess. No, 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 not that way. Hang on the roof. No, I cannot. Did I do the harder of the two first? I think I did. Balls. Nope, too high. Yep, I don't know how I made that, but that's fine. It smells like grass. Alright, the grass key. This greenhouse seems to have been neglected for a long time. Staff only. But what if this ha bunny has a key? Does that make me staff? I don't want to go outside. Ooh, hanging things. And they bounce! Nice! Oh, this is fun. Got another key? The clover flower. It looks just like the one Jose gave me a long time ago. Oh, am I supposed to give this to someone? Okay. Interesting. Oh, hi! Leap, how did you get in here? I also wanted to get in, but it didn't open. Found the key up there. Wow, splendid! Hmm, with the flowers in full bloom, old memories also came to life. This is written in rabbit legends. There might be something here to reminisce upon. Give present. Rabbit lenses are really interesting. I just happened to find this. What? They're clover flowers. They look exactly like the ones you gave me in the past. You still remember that? Of course. These flowers were the first thing I received from the others since I came to Alpha. I was missing the big rabbit who left me and I wasn't doing well in Alpha back then. <laughs> I was very grateful when you gave me the flowers. Oh, it was nothing. You did good in the end. Mm-hmm. And this flower color reminds me of your fur. Aw. I've always been curious, but how do you know so much about of our ra rabbit legend? Well, I've always liked finding such stories. I've met many rabbits from far and wide as I made my way here. Those rabbits told me some stories. You would not believe the shit they've seen. Some I found in the records of rabbit burrows that have become ruins. Tell me about your past adventures sometime, Jose. We'll be up three days without sleep if I were to get into that. Are you up for that? Th then let's put that on hold right now. Jose, do you think we can find paradise following this map? Of course, that is Jorge's map. Even the description on the map matches the paradise of the legends. You know the legendary places with a heart-shaped tree and a big rock? I am sure that we will find paradise when we reach the end of the map. Jorge discovered the cage a long time ago, right? Right, Jorge discovered many places and I believe that paradise is real too. Jorge was not a rabbit who would write something he was unsure of. How did you get the map? I heard it was here before I came to Alpha. Yeah, but I don't know very much about it. All I know is that Mont Blanc bought it from somewhere from Cage. I heard that it was brought when escaping from the cage. But Bianca didn't quite like the map. She didn't like it? Why? 
Yeah, I'm not sure why. I would ask her about it, but she would never talk about it. Beep, shall we go? I love this place, but our friends are raiding. Great. And thanks for the flower. You're welcome. Anyway. Oh. Hello, Renui. Like ordinary rabbits, their expedition likes fruits. Jorge's fruit is that. My favorite is that. But Spotty and Milk love dried that. Well, I'm gonna assume it's dried carrot because that's the only thing I can think of they've mentioned up to this point that's dried. Blank, that strange device, blank in the same way. Aoife. All right. Code. Yeet! Damn. Oh. Why do I keep missing it now? That's too close. Damn. I can just barely glide over that. Yep, that wasn't close enough. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. So basically, as soon as I jump off that mushroom, I need to be moving left. Otherwise, that happens. Oh, no, I had it! I grabbed! Oh, man. Yep. Fragment in the shape of an ear. It's sexer's course, like that of a statue. Interesting. Oh, you mean like this one right here? Oh, now I'm going to see the code, right? Like ordinary rabbits, our favorite... Yep, I was right. Jorge's favorite fruit is apple. My favorite is blueberries, but Spotty and Milk love dried carrots. Surprisingly, that strange device works in the same order. Hmm. That'll be a hint for later. I hope I can go back and read that. Okay. Well, I don't know what that means, but... Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> Can I fuck with this? No. Apple, carrot, blueberry. Oh, I've got to make them... I've got to make them fall in the correct order. Okay. Let me double check this again just to make sure. Orange fruit fruit is apple, mine is blueberries and dried carrots. Okay, apple, blueberry, carrots. I double checked that because I had two mixed up. So, apple. Blueberry. Carrot. Okay. Oh, I found a minecart. Hey, I found a fast travel. Holy moly! Why are you dallying around? How did you do it? Don't spring up on me like that. Did you solve that darn puzzle? You're pretty smart. You've been on the cart this whole time? 
Wouldn't that be too easy? But that's what machines are for. Hmm, well, you aren't wrong. Thanks. Anyway, I'm going. Everyone is waiting for you. Now I feel like I'm at a loss. Bunnies! So many bunnies! You can all go that way. I'm going this way. Oh, shit. I did it! Buddy, it's unfair to ride a cart to get here. Well, I am just smart. I don't like Woody much, I gather. I like the old leader, this is cute. It's over here, though. Ah, he can't hide from me. Damn. I almost had it. That time I didn't. Nope. I have to be on the side ledge so I can push myself out. Oof! Balls. That is such a complicated movement. I don't know if I like that. too easy. No cheese here. Just Banui. Yeah. Why do you have to be so complicated? I guess it's the whole point of difficulty puzzles like this, but still. I'm stubborn. Oh, that was cheap. that time. Ah, I, if I fall off the bottom there, I just have to let myself down. You can do this. You are Banui. Yeah! See? You just need some motivational speak. Wow, I did it! I just crossed this damn cliff! Ah, bunny swearing! Good job! Just come down here, Spotty! Ah, this that Spotty also swears, just like this Spotty. Bunnies. He 
you go ahead and leave. Okay, Kate. Aww, that's cute. That's gonna be my thumbnail. Nope, you're gonna go that way, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a gate blocking it. Woody bought parts from nearby construction site and made a giant spring. We decided to hop on it. A giant spring, you say? Oh, that was electrified. Hey, this is too high. I can't just jump over it. What are you doing? Let's try climbing the wall. Leave, wait. Jose is translating the sign written in human language. Let's read a bit. Caution, high voltage. High voltage? Yeah, if we step on that, we'll get electrocuted to death. We almost got fried whole. Mmm, fried Banui. And if we climb that square looking thing... But it's broken. Is it? Well then. Hmm. Is there something behind me? Why are you all looking at me? I love machines, but even I can't pass this just by welding it. No one tells me what to do. I only work when I want to. <laughs> Nerd. As it turns out, welding was enough. Wow, you're incredible! But I need more parts, like small springs. Hmm, now what? If we climb over that wall... Well, I suppose we could spread out and find the parts then. Jose, where should we go then? Hmm. Sky bridge, kiosk, nature trail, park trail. We just have to avoid the third road down this path, Captain. That one leads to the park trails. Thanks, Jose. Shall we go? I will stay here and examine the spring a bit. Don't get me wrong, I am not afraid of investigating unknown territories. Take it easy, Mont Blanc. Stay here, Lieb and I will go. Lieb, let's split up and take one each. Anyway. Upon arriving at this place with collapsed fences and covered with grass, the sky opened and singing filled the space. What do you mean? According to Rabbit Legends, singing signals a new encounter. A new encounter? At the very least, there isn't anything harmful, so take ease. Okay. Oh, I, how nice of you to open the gate for me. Was that thing I already tried to go to? Oops. Ooh, fun! A swing! Alright, this is getting a little ridiculous, but I love it. Nope. Got time, this one. Nope. Okay, so I gotta do it when it's swinging at me. Yes. No! <laughs> Don't let go. I literally just said when it's swinging at me is when I need to go. Ouch! Hmm. Too much. Too much. No. Shit. See, that's what happens. Ah! Why? I was going backwards. Why did I power dive forward? There we go. Is 
Is this the seed path? Am I taking the difficult path? I feel like I'm taking the difficult path. Okay, I can't grab it like that. I get it. Give me physics. Ow! That's kind of rude. Fuck. There we go. Falling off. That's totally was a seed route. Damn. Oh, shit. Okay, note to self. As soon as I get on that, I need to jump. Too late. Oh, shit. This is a very complicated series of movements. Skyed with a cocky fidgeting bird. So it's a rooster, is what you're saying. Oh. Bird. Whoa, random rabbit! What a coincidence! Welcome! Shoot, you speak our language? And it doesn't look like a coincidence at all. Coincidence! What a big word! Nice to see you anyway! My name is Wow, a talking parrot! He was used to call me by that name. You can simply call me Talkie. I live at 1582 Sky Mountain Road and I'm a parrot post office worker. My favorite food is pine caterpillars, but I don't mind munching on acorns. I don't like taking walks, but I like flying. I have a fine face and wings. Don't ask me about my annual salary. My hobby is playing the ocarina. <laughs> Nerd. And you? What? Is that how a bird introduces itself to others? Something like that. Now tell me who you are. Uh, my name is Leap. Hey, that's a cool name. And? I used to live under a park. No address. And, uh, my favorite food is dried blueberries and my occupation is... 
Let me guess. Unemployed and not looking for work. No! I am on a long journey with my friends. Humans destroyed our home. We're looking for a new place. Oh dear, I see. By the way, what are you doing here? I was nominated as Employee of the Month. And I am enjoying a paid vacation as a reward. I'm going to venture to the furthest place I heard about from some legends. It is my dream. Give present? Taki, is this yours by chance? Oh my god, I was looking for this! It's a lucky day, I picked it up somewhere near. By the way, what is that? I've never seen something like that before. It's a coin minted to commemorate the Parrot Post Office. I notice it has an engraved parrot that looks like you. Only that I am far better looking. Thanks, Lieb. Later, I should give a gift too. I want to know about this Parrot Post Office. Oh, it's a beautiful place in the air. You think I can send a letter there? Sure! Just bring us the letter and we will quickly deliver it. We accept parcels as well if you're interested. The fee is five apples per delivery. Damn, that's expensive. You mentioned the furthest place. Where is it? It is the Windsong Forest. They say that sound of the wind sounds like a song. Why do you want to visit there? You see, I was raised in a birdcage by some humans. I couldn't fly, let alone spread my wings. Mom wanted to see me escape the birdcage and live a free life. And she used to tell me about this place and called the Windsong Forest. Oh, that's a touching story. What is there? Why did Mom want me to go there? I will find the answers at Windsong Forest. So, that's why I'm hitting the road as soon as I get the opportunity. I see one of your legs is bandaged. Are you hurt? Yes, I hit a tree stump hard when I got out of that cage. I flew and flew until I saw the parent post office and then I was knocked unconscious. Aha! And it tended to my wound. It's okay now, Talkie? Yeah, it will take a little more time for it to completely heal, but I have no problem flying. And I think we may see each other again in the future. You know, all the ways lead to Windsong Forest, they say. Like humans say that, all roads lead to Rome. I don't know what Rome means, though. Do humans just roam around roads? A good guess is any. Godspeed, Lee. We will find our destinations. Are you leaving? Yes, I want our first encounter to be short and impressive. Good luck, friend. Good luck, cocky parrot. I see. Hmm, can I get on the other side? No. Okay, that's not just a death pit. Well, that's how I get onto the other side. Okay, that's death. Rats 
to launch. Not this time. Hey, that was a pretty good sight read. Sprung! Found a component needed to repair the giant spring. Ah, and I found the secret way out as well. Convenient. How'd everyone else do? Well, Block began fixing it already? Yes, it will be fixed soon. Here, Mont Blanc. Thanks. Uh, now that one needs to be connected to the lower right side. What about the orientation? To the right. Okay. What's that, Jose? Oh, while I was fetching the parts, I found the spring blueprint. It's written in human language, so Joe's helping me. Good, we just need to connect this and we'll be done. It's done. What? Already? Guys, come here, the spring is fixed now. Ah, oh, little tail legs are so cute. Jose, Mont Blanc, well done. It's nice to see you two putting your heads together. Well, we didn't really put our heads together. It's a figure of speech, Mont Blanc. Let's get going, the spring won't last long. <laughs> nice. That's fucking awesome. A big restroom. Human poop is nearly the same size as horse poop. Okay, weird bunny. Why of all things? What's going on here? Look behind, Leap. What's that? A cable car station. I remember it from one of the Big Rabbit's books. A cable car is a device that connects high mountain ridges. You can get up really high in a cable car. That's what it says. Let's do it. Okay, bye. Oh. I don't have a choice. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore all the bunnies. Like, where are all the humans at? Guys, wait. It may take some time to get this running. Hmm, the blue button and the red button at the same time. I pressed it, but nothing's happening. I can solve a puzzle. Looks like it's broken. The door just closed. There's nothing written here about how to get out. No other way but to activate the cable car and get the door open. We need to find a power source. In that case, there's only one option available to us. On the other side of the mountain, there might be a control device to move this machine. Can't we just find a rebar around here and break it open? Let's just try something. Wait here, I'll be back soon. Mont Blanc, do you want to see my dust bunny? No. It's cute though. It's still dust. It's dirty. I'll need to get back soon. All right, shall we decide on our rules now? There were steel bars where we fixed the spring just a while ago. So should Leaf handle this one? Hmm, Captain, I want to try looking for the device Jose mentioned. Why not go to the nearest one? 
It's just that. I am on the right side. Oh, an unexpected answer. Haha, <laughs> but traditionally, explorations are... Yeah, go for it, Leap. Yanka? It's important to give opportunities. Don't worry about it, Captain. Thanks, Bianca. Let's get going too, Captain. Bianca! Alright, let's do the thing. On the right, there is a stupid machine made by humans. It moves very fast, so be careful. Oh, it's, just, it's the cable car. Oof. Okay, gotta go right first. Should have expected that. <gasps> Holy shit! Okay. Oh, this is gonna yeet me, isn't it? Kind of. Wasn't kind of a sad yeet. second. Actually, I gotta reset the whole thing. No! Balls. Maybe I can't do that. Can go that way. I got the seed! Jorge, have we ever been up this high? We must be the first ones to have ever come up this high. Oof. Okay, I cannot do it that way. I have to go up and over. As far as puzzles go, this game is really fun. Ah, it does give me launchies. So if I go the other way... Oof. Okay, so I have to move that rock out of the way first. like that. Oh, there's spikes on top of it. Son of a bitch. jump on it and then get to the middle. Yes. No. I mean, I know what I have to do in principle. Yep. More seed! But George seems a little weird. He just sits around and stares off to space hey, vacantly. Really? I wonder if something is on his mind. And away we go. Oh, 
more interesting. I can't wait to see people speedrun the full game of this. Because it's going to be absolutely nuts. Oh, I almost forgot to say something important. Blank, 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 blank. You can jump higher than usual. Yeah, I know. I figured that out. Oops. This is really fun. That was rude. gist of this room, at least. Never fails. You get it on the first try, and then it becomes almost impossible. Stupid bunny. There. Ass. Oh, no. I'm not going to try to go for the other one because I know that that's a secret path to another seed. Just like Celeste, eventually I get bored of it and so I'm just not going to bother with the seeds and just queue off for the story. Spotty climbed up and found a key. We didn't know where to use it so we just put it back in place. So I need to find the key, is what you're saying. It doesn't work. This must be what I read about on Jorge's statue. Pep, the key is still there. Oh, it's getting bright. It's actually... No, it doesn't. I can't read that. Found the key. Ah. I see. Okay, I can't jump over that. 
Can I use this? No. Thanks. I push the button. Holy crap. That's violent. Wait, how did they all get in? I'm very confused. Ooh. My blog sounded brave, but he didn't act it. I hear you. Captain Bianca, how did you guys get here? We were able to open the door with the steel bar, but... We ended up locked in, too. Anyhow, Leap, you did well. You could have been locked in there forever. I'm so glad. Where should we go now? Let's venture upward first. We'll find the end of this place. I mean this upward? Oh, that upward. Hello, bunnies. So, the place that looked like a dot from the observatory was our burrow, right? To think that we've come so far. We won't go back now, will we? No, it's cold. Holy moly! Get under that tree. No, don't. No, we don't want fried bunnies. Okay, I guess this is okay. We'd be soaked to the bone if it weren't for this tree. Ew. We'll stop praying soon, Mont Blanc. I am not a weather forecaster. What? The ground is shaking. Is the ground collapsing? What? It's collapsing. This place is about to be flooded. You are a goner if you get swept away. Oh, man. Oh, shit. All right. Well, at least the island carried us away. This doesn't seem so bad. Except for the fact that they're all shivering. I don't like that. Hey, we didn't get... We weren't a goner. Ha! I don't want to experience that again. I am feeling sick. Where are we? I see a pond nearby. What? A pond? What? Why? That means we're on the right track. I remember seeing a pond on the map. We don't have to travel through water, do we? Ah, uh, why do I have this feeling that it won't be so easy? Whoa, there's an interesting flower over there. Captain, did you see it? It's a huge blue flower. Amazing. Okay, okay, but save your appreciation. It's already gone. Well, let's go too. Wait, he went left. Well, Blanc, are you okay? I thought I was dead. I hate to water. I hate water the most. Well, same here. So, what did you pack? You asked me back at the burrow. Why are you so interested? I bought my notes, red plate, clover flowers, and... And the blueprint you gave me. Oh, and three dried carrots. You? I bought a box with me. Box? What box? Oh. The red box? Yes, what else? What's inside? 
I do not know. There is nothing to know. I know you cherish that box. But you won't tell me anything about it. And that's why I get so curious. There's no reason for you to know. He doesn't want to talk about it, I guess. Just hold on tight to the map. The one inside your notes. Oh, Blanc, do you, can, do you think we can find paradise following this map? You know, the legendary place with a heart-shaped tree and a big rock. No one can be sure. But Jorge said so. Jorge is a legendary explorer, but he is not an omniscient being. He's a rabbit like us. The map should not be fully trusted. You know, he does have a fair point. Don't just blindly follow someone. Jose thinks that the legend is based on truths. That's so, Jose. He would even believe it if you told him they were talking flowers. I know what you're saying. I'm serious. Paradise could be as real as you and I. But what? We, but we can always keep our hopes up. Well, Blanc, do you think this place is dangerous? I'm not sure. But it smells like something is rotting. I think it smelled this kind of smell before. But I don't remember exactly where and from what. Um... Okay. Benui. There is a mysterious flower that shines blue. The flower lets you fly in the air for a while. I'm going to flying bunny? Suddenly interested. Look at that, Lieb. Look what? Flower behind me. Its name is Light Rollup. It is blue, a color you rarely see in nature. And this one is closer to the color of emerald. It is. It's so beautiful. So, where would one use light roll-ups? Lieb, that flower is not an ordinary flower. Pollen's light roll-up is unique and that it is very sticky for pollen. Oh. It's sticky yet very light. If you cover your body with the light roll-up pollen, you can briefly fly in the air. Fly? I can't imagine it. Want me to show you, Lieb? I can fly upwards, sideways, even diagonally. Yes. Yeah, show me! Alright, watch me carefully. Yep, this is absolutely ripping off, Celeste. Wow, amazing! You can do this too. Why is this flower called light... Why is this flower called light roll up? Because it looks like someone rolled a ray of light into this flower. How do you know all that? I read it in an old book. It's my favorite book. Have you read the book? What was its title? The rabbit says Ancient Plains Tales. Ancient Plant Tales. Yes. I have. Oh yeah? Well, a copy of it was in Alpha, I remember. There are many mysterious flowers other than the light roll-up in Ancient Plains Tales. For example, there's a flower that stays a bud its entire life. But blooms when granting someone's wish. It's called the Everwish. Also, there's the Moonrise Flower, which brings all dead rabbits back to life. The world of plants is so cool! That's a little outlandish, I'm sorry. What was this place? This doesn't look like any ordinary pond. There are human buildings. And the scenery is too good to be true. I think this used to be a theme park. Theme park? Like the place where you ride around the duck boat. A stupid place for stupid humans. Big rabbits like water? How? Who knows? They're weird. Whee! Yep, we're doing this now. Oh shit. Okay. Yep, it's... definitely. Uh, 
Ah, I gotta go up and right. No, I don't. There we go. Oh, Black Bunny. Captain, what are you doing here? I was looking for other paths. Looks like a blocked road. You're right, Captain. I think we have to go down. Did you get to plant a lot of seeds? Yeah, I'm gonna plant more than you ever did. Haha, <laughs> okay, Leap. The seeds retain the voices of rabbits. It's a good idea to find out what kind of stories are within each seed. Did Captain check too? Yes, back in the day. That's how I know quite a bit about Jorge's expedition. What kind of specialties did the members of Jorge's expedition have? That's my specialty. Firstly, Jorge, I'm sure you know well, is the captain of the expedition, the leader. Ifa sculpts statues, also a very good friend to Jorge. I've heard that Ifa's exploration skills were even greater than Jorge's. Spotty is the youngest, small and cute. But brings the creative solutions to problems. Milk is exceptional at treating wounds, very knowledgeable in the field of medicinal herbs. Woody is a mechanic, a spectacular one at that. When Blanc and Woody got to work together in the cage. Wow, cool! Did you ever see Jorge's expedition with your own eyes? Nope, I've only heard stories of them at the cage. I learned more about it while I was planting seeds. Are we gonna learn that Jorge is actually a human? What did you do at that cage? I was a blacksmith. Blacksmith? Well, this time I thought you were a captain in the cage as well. My actual name just happens to be Captain. I smith mostly weapons at the cage. When does one use weapons? The weapons were used mostly to kill weasels. You cook for us now, so I can't imagine you smithing weapons. Back then I had no idea I would be cooking. But both jobs are similar in that it requires the use of fire. You're amazing, Captain. I'll tell you the rest of the story later, Leap. I have to examine the path a little bit closer. Okay, bye! Ooh! Did I get a cutscene? Bianca, what are you eating? Dried carrots. I saw Captain hiding them here. Didn't know you liked dried carrots, Bianca. Well, sometimes. Don't tell Mont Blanc, though. I want some, too. Feels good eating dried carrots with you like this, Bianca. Yeah, it's quite peaceful for once. Where are Captain and Jose? Hey, I went out to look for Hay. Captain offered to give Jose a hand. Those two? That's quite an unusual combination. Maybe the burrow is quiet because Jose isn't here. Yeah, there's always a ruckus when he's around. But Jose can be considered imprudent sometimes. Hey everyone, it's another lively afternoon today. Sorry I'm a little late. No, nothing serious happened. I just stumbled and rolled down from up there, that's all. I take back what I said. You scared me. I just had a fantastic idea and I couldn't stop myself. I've got to tell everyone as soon as possible. Do you know what day it is today? What day is it? It's none other than... Hold on, let's bunk... Let's get Mont Blanc over here, too. Why am I here? Alright, since everyone's here, I'll reveal what this is about. Today is Captain's birthday. What? His birthday? You know his birthday? How? Well, it isn't his real birthday. Some time ago, he came up with a new dish that was really tasty. Even so, our resident picky eater, Mont Blanc, gobbled it up. He has a laptop? Oh, that's so cute! I love his little computer! At the same time, Captain was so happy with the success of his new dish. He declared that it feels like I've been born again. That's right, and so that day became the Captain's birthday. Oh. So let's celebrate his birthday in grand fashion. I love that. 
It's a great idea, Jose. I'd rather work. Alright then, since everyone has agreed, let's put our heads together and think of a plan. Where are you going, Mugblanc? I can't have a single day of peace and quiet, huh? Nope. I'll go first. Let's sing a song for Captain. What about playing hide and seek? When you get caught, you get hung upside down from the ceiling and tickled. Oh, that's torture. That's inhuman. What about not doing anything? I like singing a song. I'll take the low notes. Hide and seek sounds good to me. Being hung from the ceiling every now and then is good for you, too. Oh man, she's into, she's into some weird shit. Hmm, since Captain has always cooked tasty things for us, why don't we cook something tasty for him today? Wow, that's a wonderful idea, Lee. Hmm, since we just ate, some dessert might be good. Great, let's make something delicious. Filled with our love for Captain. Hmm. When is Captain coming back? He said he was going to check out a hay box that was a bit far from here. He won't be back for an hour at least. Let's head to the pantry. Let me guess, these idiots know, have no idea how to cook, right? This is not the pantry. Oops. Sorry, I'm a little stupid sometimes. Oh, okay. It would taste better with rabbit grass and blueberries, right? Or cornflower? Timothy grass? My deep love? And dried carrots? I think there's something weird stuck in there. It must taste very mysterious. I'll use this. What about leaf? Did you decide what to make? Hmm, I'll have to try this. Alright then, let's get back. I don't know what you're gonna do with blue cornflower. Lee, do you want to use the oven first? The oven? The one on the right over there. It used to roast marshmallows in it. Oh, that's where the oven! I thought that was the stove! Then I'll make it first. Wow, that's some talent right there. A cake that I made. I hope Captain likes it. Leeb, is it done? Yep, it's fresh out of the oven, nice and hot. Good, then we'll make it too. Let's all go over what we've made. I'll start. I've baked a cake. It looks like a collapsed sand castle. Or a mountain of soil piled on a plate. This is supposed to look like our burrow. That's fantastic! It's a very realistic portrayal. I agree, red burrows normally look like that. I've decorated it with cornflowers because Captain loves them. I also use bellflower roots, which are good for you. Yuck, I hate bellflower roots. Oh, oh no, I said that too loudly. Yikes, I said that out loud too. Whoops. Just stop talking, Jose. What are you doing? Hmm, it tastes good to me. But only you like this cake, Bianca. Today is Captain's birthday. What did you make, Jose? I made cookies in the shape of Captain. So, this mysterious creature is Captain? I guess they are the same shape topologically. Are they even edible? These cookies look like they've just escaped from hell. This is amazing! The inside isn't cooked at all, but the outside is like a brick! They might be useful as weapons. Can't say I've ever done that before. I couldn't bear to leave my cookie friends in the oven for too long. It's very hot inside the oven, you know. But eating those will break our teeth. 
What did you make, Bon Blanc? This. A hologram of a cake. A very specific cake. Right, let's move on then. I think I've done a good job with it. I baked a cake! Ooh, it's the best looking one so far. I used strawberries and decorated with corn flowers. You never disappoint, Leap. Captain will love it. Well, I'm glad at least one of them is a confident cook. Well, then again, Bianca is probably plenty co confident. She's just the vegan of the bunch. Not to slander vegans, it's just that her cake has the actual ingredients in it and the stuff that's healthy for you. When Captain gets back, should we give him Leap's cake in a sing-along? Hmm, but it feels like something is missing. I know, let's throw him a surprise party. Surprise party? There's more to be surprised about? When Captain returns, we'll surprise him by telling them that I have disappeared. That's a real surprise. Captain doesn't like pranks like that, Jose. But it will be much more exciting than just giving him a cake. Leave will lie and tell Captain that I've gone missing. Then you can ask him to help look for me and lead him to this room. When he comes in, I'll put a birthday hat on his head. And Bianca and Mont Blanc can scour flower petals and, flower petals and sing him happy birthday. Hmm. Don't worry, Bianca. This will be a birthday that he will never forget. Oh, I bet. Surely nothing will go wrong. we have never thrown a surprise party for Captain on his birthday before. I'm sure this will make him even happier. Fine, let's give it a try then. I'm still a little worried, though. Then who will talk to Captain? I'm not good at lying. I don't want to lie. Th that just leaves me? Excellent. You're right, Lee. But I'm not good at lying, either. Captain believes whatever you say. That's true, I guess. I hear footsteps. Captain must be hurrying back. Hurry and go meet him, Leib. We'll prepare the surprise. Captain! Leib, today has been a bountiful day. Humans have filled the hay box to the brim. Wow, that's great. I'll put it in the pantry right away. By the way, why did you come out to meet me, Leib? Oh, that's... um... Jose! Jose has gone missing! What? He, he told me he was going outside to find the hay. Maybe he's gone to the farthest hay box, but he's not back yet. Jose! Oh, wow, she really botched that up. He's gone. I need to get back to my friends and tell them that I fucked up. Leap, where's Captain? The moment he heard me saying that Jose was missing, he ran out of the burrow. What? I forgot the Captain's a bigger worry wart than we think. What do we do now? We need to go look for him. He dashed out so fast that I didn't see which way he went. Captain! Alright, let's go track him down because my dumbass told him to go out as far as he could. Whoa, Jose, you okay? Y yeah! Do you know how scared I was, Jose? I was panting. Kept blaming myself. I felt you had to go far away because I didn't bring back enough food. Oh, um, that's... I should have done better so that you wouldn't worry about our food stories. What are you talking about, Captain? I'm the one in charge of food. You were just giving me a hand today. Uh, this is pretty awkward in this situation, but I have something to show you, Captain. Come with me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, hmm. I don't know if I should go down there. Oh, okay, it's fine. Surprise! What's this? Today's your birthday, Captain. You still remember that? Then what you said earlier was... Yeah, it was a lie to surprise you. But we didn't expect you to be that surprised. 
The surprise was a total failure. Captain, you'll forgive us, right? Thank you, everyone. But please don't surprise me like this next time. I almost had a heart attack. We'll never do it again. It's okay, Jose. Did you bake a cake? Yeah, Lieb made that one. You're better cooking than I thought, Lieb. What's that in the corner? Oh, th those are... our failed attempts. Let me have a taste of these failed attempts. No, Captain, you'll get sick! Haha, <laughs> they look hilarious! Do you like them? Yes, these cookies from hell. And... The Velflower Root Cupcakes, too. The cookies from hell. I like this ornamental cake as well. Press the C button to eat it. Anyway, thank you, everyone. I guess this has turned out okay in the end. Feels so wonderful today. We should always have parties on days like these. Ah, oh, you're right, Captain. You know how to have fun. Let's go to the pantry and get a white tablecloth, orange juice, five plates, a tray for the cake, and some dried carrots. Yay! Back in the cage. I used to take care of everything when the blacksmiths had parties like this. The friends I partied with back then were... He's about to start with the old story that we've heard dozens of times before. Right, right. Let's bring the things we need. Well done, Bianca. This is a great birthday party. I'm having a great time. Alright, now for the finale. Let's sing happy birthday. I picked up some birthday candles in the park earlier. I see. You were looking for those candles when you kept disappearing. Uh, about the number of candles. I don't know how old Captain is. So I decided on five since there are five of us. Oh, hang on. You going to play guitar, Jose? Yep, my hands are a bit too thick for this. But I practice a lot for today. One, two, three. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get copyright strike. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta talk over that. Nope. Nope, just kidding. They, the company that uh, claimed to have owned the song to that actually got their copyright claim voided. So it's open source now. But I'm still not singing. Aw. Captain, the candles are going to drip. Blow them out quickly. You have to blow them out all at once to have a long life, Captain. Yeah, all at once. Right, here I go. Uh... Oh, that's the end of the memory. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love this so much. Oh, she's wearing cake on him. That's cute. Nice. Okay, so I don't know him well enough. I don't know Jose well enough. I don't know Mont Blanc well enough. I got captains. And I almost know Bianca well enough. Wait, I want to see these great poems. Give it back! Can I, can I look at the red box? No. I guess not. Oh, I haven't discovered anything about the red box. Okay. I've discovered about half the flowers that are available to me. Okay. Mmm, sewage. Let's maybe not go that way. I don't have a choice. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is the artificial pond they were talking about. It's poop. Nope, can't go that way. Okay, interesting. Whee! I made it. 
Fuck, aren't you afraid of water? Yes, of course I am. You sure don't look like it. Got here so quick, there's water everywhere. If you aren't afraid of water, maybe you're not a rabbit. I just don't show it. Bianca, do I ever miss the cage? No way, we escaped the cage and created Alpha. But you lived with your parents back in the cage? That is true, time flied back then. I do miss my parents, but I do not miss the cage. Why did you hate the cage, Bianca? The ruler of the cage, Maha, was a tyrant. The fact that the tyrant was also my stepfather is also a big reason why. Rabbits use different floors depending on their status in the cage. The cage was a happy place, but only for Maha. Skilled workers like Captain and Mont Blanc were just pushed around. That's not what you wanted. After becoming the stepdaughter of Maha, I could never free myself from that. I could never be free from that responsibility. Ah. Ooh, challenge presents itself. Haha! Eat your challenge. Hmm. Oh. No! Oh, it fell in the poop water anyway. Oh, pops I go too far. Bunny made a contraption for us to cross the pond. Its name is Supercharged Bunny Navigator Mark 1. Supercharged Super Bunny Navigator Mark 1. To make it clear, it was Woody, not me. Anyways, this contraption hops like a bunny. We decided to bring it to the opposite side for others once we crossed the pond. I guess I will need to ride this across. Hmm, if what I read from Hori's statue is right. Hmm, I can't operate it alone. Huh? That is... I've read about something like that from the ancient rabbit tome. Oh, you already knew? How are we supposed to operate this? I've never seen anything like this before. You abort in pairs and then take turns hopping. It's important to put the same pressure on both sides. Uh, I'm afraid of the water, but to cross this pond... Yes, it's scary. Very scary. Can't even see the other side. We are rabbits. We're supposed to be afraid of the water. This is written in our DNA, you know. The theory of evolution and all that. We're rabbits. Mont Blanc? You and I are just lacking the DNA of swimming rabbits. This is about genetics, not about being weak or anything. I'm just saying. I've never seen Mont Blanc saying that much. He's very scared. No, I am not scared. Well, Mont Blanc, you can just stay still in the middle. We will do the thing. Yeah, that's right, do the thing. It'll be interesting. Fine, let's do it then. This is gonna be a timed thing where I have to time my jumps, right? Hop in, Leap. Stay behind and hop with me. Yep, it's gotta be timed. Close enough. I'm gonna fall off. Okay, this is cool.
Yeah, we did it. A block? You can breathe now. <sighs> it was nothing. Let us go. I didn't know that Mont Blanc was this afraid of water. He acted like he was fine back in the park. Why? I don't know. Maybe a sense of responsibility. Because everyone was scared back then. It's okay to be scared. Oh, Leap, I was going to say this to you earlier. Finding the machine across the water, well done. For real? Captain and I were very impressed when you returned. Not that I've forgotten about what happened a year ago. We were worried about you being hurt like that again. You did a good job, though. Bianca! Don't give me that teary-eyed look. Let's go. Oh, that's so cute. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a good pausing point here. I hope this saves progress. I would assume it does, but I think I need to take a break because my throat is getting fucked. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick BRB to get some hydration because I have not drank water this entire time like an idiot. And then I'll be back in about 10 minutes and we'll be back with a different game because I cannot keep voice acting like this. I am not cut out for this. Anyway, see y'all in a bit. <laughs>